Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, June 4th, 2022. Week 183. And if you hadn't noticed, Stacy's barely got a voice, but that's better than it's been for the last week or so. Yeah, I lost my voice um, the Wednesday it's before Memorial Day. Long time. And uh, yesterday was my first glimmer of a voice, and this is the most voice I've had in a week and a half. Yep. So I spent my birthday weekend. Yes, last weekend you didn't see us. Uh, week 182, we ended up going down to Indiana. We were around the Fort Wayne area, um, Terre Haute area. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we were all over the state. Yeah. And we went to go see my brother, Dickie James. He was playing some music everywhere. And um, we saw two of his shows. Yeah. And we just enjoyed a nice weekend away and got a little hotel room and enjoyed just hanging out and Going to see Top Gun. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of my uh, birthday present yeah. days. I wanted to go to dinner. We didn't do dinner because we ended up uh, seeing the show instead Yeah. Uh, for Dickie that night. Uh, but we saw the movie and had a nice lunch and had a really good time. Even though I couldn't talk, we met his family. Yeah, Stace got, to, <laughs> yeah Stace got to meet Dickie's wife and her daughters and all that stuff. Great kids so. and great grandkids. So. Yeah. It was fun. I spent time with my honey and my girls got to spend time together. So that was nice. Tell you, it didn't, it wasn't fun doing the driving though. Oh my gosh, gas is getting so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to go. Let's go to the weights really. Let's go to the weights. Not that we want to go to the weights. See, I was avoiding the weights because I didn't like it this week. (laughs) Stacey, ladies first. Um, The last weight I had was at 163 and some ounces. So I called it 163. This morning I weighed in at 161. Two. So down two pounds. Good for you. Goodness. Maybe being sick helped. I don't I, know. I don't know. I, and I really am trying not to. I kind of sneaked back a little bit into eating a little bit later because my schedule, I don't get off until, I don't get home until anywhere between 8.45 and 10.30. 10 30. Yeah. So, and sometimes, you know, you're going, you're going, you're going, and you're still a little hungry, but I've just been... Not eating anything, trying to, uh, not snacking or anything. So, you know, obviously it's helped a little bit. Have a good snack, some almonds or something. Yeah. Things that you enjoy. Well, who am I to talk? Because last week I was like, th- uh, excuse me, two weeks ago, I was like 344, I believe. And this week I was, this morning I was 347. So I don't know um, where all that came from. Uh, The only thing I've done in the last two weeks that I regret was when we went to the movies, we actually got some popcorn and it was kind of gross. It wasn't what I was expecting and I wasn't very happy with it. Yeah, I didn't do very well with popcorn. All afternoon, Um, my stomach just was like, oh, I feel horrible. Exactly. Yeah, I um, didn't do well with it. Choked a few times, so I'm like, okay. Well, she was having trouble, yeah, with the <laughs> yeah, throat I anyway. Really... So it was probably a bad choice. We should have stopped at CVS and just got a little thing of almonds or something that we know you'd enjoy, and maybe yeah. the oil of the almond would coat your throat a little or something. Ooh, I don't know. Was, yeah, ended up with an upper respiratory infection. Um, we did the teledoc thing, which was a waste of time because I told them it was and bad, them and they're was like, bad. oh, it's just a cold. I'm like, it's not just a cold. Um, I'm asthmatic. I said I can feel it starting to settle in my chest. I ended up going to urgent care when we got back home. And he's like, oh, good Lord. And so did the breathing treatment and the steroids and antibiotics and inhaler and um, a strong cough medicine. Now, what's funny about all that is the kids didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. So, you know, yeah. even though you were spitting up green... Which is yeah. supposedly viral or something. Um, you know, I have my own issues. I've been trying to adjust to a new medicine mm-hmm. and uh, it's made me very sick to my stomach. Um, Gosh, doctors dizzy. telling me, hold it out, hold out for a while, see if you can <laughs> kind of get <coughs> accustomed me. to it and, and feeling better. <laughs> and if I can't, we'll go off of it. But I did, it, it has helped with the sugars. When I look at the average sugars, they've come down yeah. about 20 points. But I'm still up in the 180s, and I'm not happy with that. So I'd like it to be in the, like, 130s. Yeah, that would be... That's ideal. my ideal goal again. Yeah. So, but we're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was overall a great weekend. Oh, um, yeah. I said it was great to spend time with Bill and 
Um, now we're back to the grind. It's yeah. body art season right now. We're doing senior all night lock ins. Um, so this next week is going to be the week from hell. No, no, stay kind of yeah. Her regular full hour shifts plus the body art stuff. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Yeah. Um, the body art stuff a little bit. And uh, so that makes for some crazy days. And I'm going to be a band mom on Tuesday. And we're going to Cedar Point Amusement Park. Oh, yeah. Um, Enjoy that. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not too tired. Hopefully the adrenaline will get me going for the day because I come home from a senior all night lock-in. I'll get home probably about 3.30, 3, 3.30. You, know you know how I always say I never see Stace? This is a typical week. She'll work the eight and a half hours, Costco, mm -hmm. come home. What do you have between the time that that and then the body art? Maybe an hour and a half, two yeah, hours? Yeah, so I work tonight. I work today, which is a normal day. And then tomorrow I work until 6.30. I come oh, home, we leave. Well, that's not bad. I thought it was 8 o'clock and then you leave. No, I, I work until 6.30, but I have to leave by 8.30. That lock-in goes till 12.30 Monday morning. Get up and take Julia to school because they've canceled her bus the entire week. So I take Julia to school at 6.30. And then I work Camus from 12 to 8. I have to leave by 8.15 Monday night to head out for a 10 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. lock-in. And okay. then it's about an hour away. Um, so I'll be home probably about, uh, quarter to 4. And then I have to be at the school. This, we're talking 4 a.m., by the way. And I have to be at the school with Julia by 7.30 for a full day at Cedar Point. Now, the good thing is that I don't have to drive. We're taking a tour bus. So I'm going to put take my hearing aids off, put the hood up, and go to sleep. And then I work. Um, we have two lock-ins. Yeah, two, there's two senior all-night lock-ins. Then I work Wednesday. Thursday, I think I'm off because I have another lock-in overnight. And I work Friday, Saturday, and then I go Saturday night for a senior all night lock-in. So the next two weeks are going to be hell, but I'm we take the money you, when we can get it. I'm telling you, we're grateful to have the work because Very we've had one. none for the last two years. However, whatever it is, how <sighs> it doesn't matter what things you're putting into the schedule, I never see Stace. It's, it's literally in, out, quick kiss, goodbye, see you, see you later. And then by the time you get home... 10 30 11 o'clock at night from costco or something and you sit down and 15 minutes into a program or something or us talking going through the mail going through the bills whatever stacy's out and I, I can't be mad at you i understand you're wiped out i get it now one of the good things is when i do the senior lock-ins bill stays home with julia because we don't well, yeah. run her home by herself by herself but um, Lauren will be going with me so I can just spend some time with Lauren. Yeah, you'll get to see yeah. Lauren. Yeah. Lauren and then Logan, um, which has been her best friend all the way through high school. So um, I'll get to see him a little bit. And I don't know. It'll be fun. At least it's yeah. a party when we're there. The atmosphere is busy and fun and exciting. And so that helps the adrenaline going. Um, yeah, but then you end up, I mean, you're, you're already trying to come off of being I sick, yeah. so you need your rest, too. So, you know, I don't get upset with you that you fall asleep immediately when I see you, but I truly never see her because, you know, I, I can't even keep up with a schedule like yours. It's just too much for me. I have a hard enough time keeping up with the dishes and the laundry and the <laughs> house and the kids. You know, I want this to make to eat this and do this. I have a, today is a band parade and then like yesterday was a dance and it mm -hmm. seems like I'm constantly driving. I feel like an Uber driver that doesn't get paid. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> and a janitor and a chef. I paid you in Fathead Pizzas. We made Fathead Pizzas yeah, the other night. They I, were wonderful. Uh, only could, only was I had enough to do six pizzas. but. And you know one thing that we've done a little with the Fatheads that's a little different is now we have a new oven. We have mm -hmm. a 20 some year old oven that barely worked and right. was never right. Um, but now we have a new oven and we've been doing the air crisp or, or what do you call it? air fryer air fry. mode on the oven. And it on does help half. with the crisp. Uh, it does help with the, the crust. It gets a little more crisp because that crust being cheese and everything has always been like too soggy and not soggy, but soft. Soft. We hold the pizza and it goes like this. Right. And the, and the air fryer is helping with that a little bit. 
Um, yeah. First batch of them when you make the the crust. Uh, what am I trying to say? You made them regular and a re- regular in the regular oven. oven, and then when you put your toppings on and you put it back in, then that's you did what the I did air fry. Because I asked her, "Did you air fry them?" And she said, "Oh, I forgot." I forgot. Yeah. So when I made a pizza with the crust that was pre-made, put everything on it, I air fried it for ten minutes, and that worked pretty good yeah. at four hundred. So I was pretty okay with that. I think I might even up it a little bit to like four twenty-five. For eight yeah. minutes or something. I'd, <laughs> I'd rather get a little crispier on the bottom. And of course, everybody would say it's burnt, but it, it's not. It's, it's the cheese. Pizza, the yeah. cheese is going to always darken up quick, and it's but it doesn't taste burnt. Right. <laughs> but if you made a video <laughs> of it, everybody, oh, oh it's me. burnt. Your pizza's burnt. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy my burnt pizza. It's not burnt. <laughs> we do no, garlic butter on there, too, and garlic butter, even right. on a regular the pizza from the... The butter browns up right away. Um, you know, it just browns up. Two, three minutes into cooking that crust for the first time, it starts getting brown, and you know it's not done at two, three minutes, you know, right. and you're like looking at it, and you're like, oh, they're going to say it's burnt. They're going to know. They're going to know. They're going to know. They're not going to know. Yeah, they're going to know. They're not going to know. <laughs> doesn't matter because it tastes good <laughs> and, and i enjoyed the fat heads exactly i was a little bit i was a little confused to see the weight up this week i'd done yeah. pretty good i even did a day of omad um my stomach wasn't feeling good a couple days there so i was eating pretty light um so and when i saw the scale i was like what the heck it Who could knows? be water i mean it's you know i weathers. can't even wear my ring right now my hands are all swollen so it's all water no i don't know what it is <laughs> it's just I just need to go to the bathroom really good. Possibly. <laughs> Too much information. But anyway, it was 347 this week, and I wasn't real happy with that because that was up. Yeah, so sorry we missed you last week, but it was for good reason. We went and just enjoyed ourselves, went off the grid. Oh, that and was And it so literally nice. off the grid because uh, two of the places that we went and had absolutely no cell service, which we weren't aware of before we went. Otherwise, we would have told the kids, hey, it was my birthday, so... Um, Everybody was trying to call, so when we got back into cell yes. service, I was like, holy cow. Bad day to be out of service because right. you couldn't answer a call. And then, of course, they're calling the house asking the girls, are you okay? They're not answering the phones. From like yeah, 2 well, p.m. until almost we're, 11, we first were of all, we out were of the zone. In a movie where I turned my phone off because I don't want to be bothered by yeah. texts and just no i want to enjoy the movie and i did thoroughly yes, absolutely. And then we came home movie. then we came home and rewatched top gun to the original yes, from 86 yeah there's a lot of little references in there i i don't think that kids would really get so much or or even kids these days did they even see top gun you know <laughs> but that's okay because for us oldies <laughs> we get it all even on the jukebox there's one part in where they're in there and they push the jukebox and the song they choose is eight six for 1986 mm-hmm. so yeah it's cute <laughs> but yeah these kids won't get it no that's all right that's okay we'll let them go but go watch the movie go watch the original movie for the watch the original ones. first then go watch top gun maverick um it was great and if you can watch it in the theater yes um, that was fun yeah i'd like to go back and watch it at, in an imax theater yeah we just caught one that was local and terrible it was the AMC classic. There was hardly anybody just a regular, in there. <laughs> yeah, just regular old. Yeah, that was the funny part. <laughs> Opening weekend, second day, Saturday. Or yeah, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And it was uh, that was your birthday day. Yeah. And uh, that's what we did. But yeah, the, I don't even think there was maybe two dozen people maybe right. in this big old theater. But we went to the early one at twelve thirty because we had the show to do that night. But um, one thing we didn't realize though. When we were in Terre Haute, we picked like their old classic AMC theaters. Like it looked like the place wasn't even open anymore. It was that old. The weeds were so full and the, the parking, in the lot parking lot had weeds coming through, you know, like a foot <laughs> high everywhere. <laughs> like in a big like, mall. Yeah, we're like, nobody's going to come and open this theater for us. It was the first showing. So we were there about 45 minutes early. Long story short, <laughs> we really goofed up when we went out there. We were right on the, the time zone border of in Illinois, it was an hour earlier, central time. And then on Indiana side, which Terre Haute's Indiana side, is um, Eastern time, an hour later. So where we were staying in Illinois, we were in Paris, Illinois, by the way, right. at a brand new Hampton Inn, was an hour earlier than the... <laughs> we were late for the first show. Yes, we were... We were no, we were early for the first show because... No, no, no. Late the first, for the first Dickie well, show. Well, you said show, but yeah. <laughs> 
we went to <coughs> go see my brother play in the, the first night. We're staying in Illinois. We went to Indiana to see the show. And we think we're coming in at like 6.30. It was actually 7.30 because of the time zones. So for the day of the movie, we learned, you know, because we goofed up, that uh, we needed to go early. So we were there at like 11.15, 11.30 for a 12.30 show. Yeah. Knowing that we just wanted to get in there, get our drinks and stuff and sit down. Even our drinks were gross. We had Diet Pop and both of us were just like looking at each other. Does yours taste right? Does mine taste horrible? I don't yeah. know. I guess I'd have done better sneaking out. Or you could buy a bottle of water. Sneaking. Just, just water. Well, you know, sneaking in a Snickers bar <laughs> or something when I was a kid. But right. uh, I'd have probably just done better bringing in a little Ziploc of almonds or something and yeah. buying a water or something. I guess you just wanted that full movie experience. It was your birthday. You're like, yeah, let's get some popcorn. And yeah, we regretted it. I would have rather <laughs> had birthday cake than... The pop and popcorn. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest. No. No. But speaking of, I got to get going. I got to get Julia to the school. Right, for, for her the parade. And then I parade. go to work, and then Bill's going to pick her up from the school after yep. the parade. And so. All righty. Uh, well, you want to come say hi? Julia's going to come say hi real quick. Oh, Julia's going to say hi. There's Julia. <laughs> She's going to go do her little Millennium Band thing. Unfortunately, no, she's my flute. You, you I have my second no, flute piccolo. player. Oh, oh, she's doing piccolo in the oh. band. Do you have like a little piccolo solo? No, I do not. No, but um, most people can probably hear me because I play really loud. We can hear. The oh, piccolo well. is not so nice on my hearing aids. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I try to practice when you're not home. Uh, uh. I love you. Yeah, so we're going to get her to her parade, and uh, Stacey's going to drop her off, and then I'm going to pick her up from the parade later in the afternoon, and uh, just be one of those days of craziness. Exactly. And uh, will I see you at all today? Tonight, but I have to go to bed earlier. Cause you... I say earlier because we're stupid, and I'm stupid. I don't know how to go to bed. I think last night we went to bed at 2 a.m. No, you were asleep pretty much. Oh. Falling asleep, falling asleep. I just can't sleep. I lay down and I lay there. The other night I laid there all night. I mean, every hour on the hour, I was awake. Me hacking doesn't help the situation either. Every cough. Doesn't matter where you're at. Every time she coughs, I wake up. I'm a dad. That's my job. You know, you're supposed to. Yeah. What's that noise? But it doesn't matter what room she's in. She came to the living room one night. I was in the bedroom the other night, and we had the door closed and everything, but every time she coughed, I woke up. Coughed and threw a towel, but... Yeah, it doesn't help. It was bad. I mean, obviously, I went nine days without a voice. That's how swollen my vocal cords were from all the coughing and, you know... Even today, you look a little flushed, like yeah, red. Yeah, I say my face looks quite red. Yeah. That's all right. I'm so getting there. Take it easy. Use some I will. throat lozenges or something. Yep. You've been using some cough drops or something, right? Um, sugar-free ones? They have the Halls uh, breezers that are sugar-free. Um, so just having something. So I go between those and an actual Halls sugar-free cough drop. When the cough is starting to come, um, Let's see drinking lots can, of water, which is great. But then I got to go pee. Right. <laughs> I just got to see if we can keep Stop you feeling, feeling better and, uh, and doing better. And try and get your rest. It's important. But she's been taking steroids, antibiotics. What was the other thing? You took like three or four medicines. Um, cough Zyrtex, medicine. cough medicine, antibiotic, steroid. steroid. So we're trying Inhaler. to get her better. But the doctor's orders are you need to settle it down, cool it down, sleep. Yeah. And that just Next doesn't week. seem to happen for Stace. Yeah. We try. We try. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. I hope you're doing well if you're doing keto better than us or better than me. <laughs> Stacy lost two pounds this week, so that's not so bad. But um yeah, we'll get we'll get back on here next week and we will catch y'all later and hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys. Go see Top Gun if you haven't. It was good. Absolutely. We enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.